So they are away. Adam Ise gets a decent start from Stefan Schultz and Daniel Perlman. So running in normal position over the line. And there's Stefan Schultz tags the rear of Adam Ise and uh, stops and waits for him. Drops him to the rear of the field. So we've got Daniel Perlman leading this one from, looks like, Frederick Hovgaard in second position. Daniel Perlman, defending champion, leads this one. After a, uh, I mean, Stefan Schultz did the right thing, so sort of stopped and waited. He has, he's now come into the pit lane. So our lead battle is actually the number three car from the four car from the five car. Daniel Perlman from Frederick Hovgaard from Pavel Stazowski. Jack Liebar up into fourth position. Adam Ise all the way down into eighth position. We're running with the lead car of defending champion Daniel Perlman. Off the bank sweeper. Not necessarily what Daniel would have expected, but he will take this. He took the last round of qualifying in the wet yesterday, which is what bumped him up into third position on the grid. So off the end of the main straight once more. Little bit of curb there for Daniel. Manages to hang on to it. He's been presented with an opportunity here. Frederick Hovgaard looks like he is closing in on Daniel. Daniel looking like he's struggling a little bit for steering on the front of that. He's tensed up a little bit. Frederick Hovgaard having a look at him. Pavel Stazowski also keeping a watching brief. So got a move to the inside from Frederick Hovgaard. He is the second of those two. Very similar coloured cars as they come out onto the main straight once more. So this is the battle for the lead of the Spec A final, the first Spec A final. And Daniel Perlman makes a mistake over the curbing just as they come down to the start line. So now we have got Frederick Hovgaard leading this one from Pavel Stazowski. So the lead battle still down the main straight. Pavel Stazowski now picks up the toe from Frederick Hovgaard. Frederick Hovgaard leading this one. Daniel Perlman will be kicking himself with that mistake. Had the race kind of in his hands. Tensed up a little bit. Daniel Perlman pulls into the pit. So got uh, two of the quick cars with a retirement, early retirement. Of course, that will, uh, that, that will help them in terms of saving tyres. Four later on with one set of tyres. They will be on fresher tyres later on in the day. Frederick Hovgaard extends his lead slightly over Pavel Stasowski. Adam Ise not really making an impression. He is up into sixth position now. But he's not closing at a necessary rate to get near the battle at the front of this. Frederick Hofgaard now has sort of stabilised the gap over Pavel Stasowski. Just looking at the lap times that they are doing at the moment. A 19.4 last time for Pavel, uh, sorry, for Frederick Hofgaard. A 19.5 for Pavel Stasowski. So if we can move our sort of shot back to, there's three cars battling. They've just crossed the timing line. This is the battle for third place. Jacques Liebar, Nicolas Delis, and Marc Valent as they come down the main straight. So lead of those is Jacques Liebar with the six car. The all green colored car is Nicolas Delis. This is the battle for third. Front to a, just a little bit away. Frederick Hovgaard leading this one into the final minute and looks like his gap is pretty comfortable. This is the battle for third place going on. Nicholas Delis looking like he fancies a shot at this one. 10 seconds to go. Only fair that we move back to the leader. He is just coming down the main straight now, the minty green colored car. Let's just get him as we come round 
if he's going to win the leg of this final, it's only fair that we follow him across the line. So there we go. A win for Frederick Hovgaard in the first leg of that one from Pavel Stasowski. Jacques Libar takes third place at the end from Nicolas Delis and Mark Valen. Adam Ice rolls in in sixth place. Uh, off we go then. Adam Ice leads away from Stefan Schultz. Let's see if they can make it round the first lap cleanly. This corner here was where Stefan Schultz had a nibble last time of Adam Ice. Thinks better of it and is a bit more circumspect this time. So down the main straight once more. Stefan Schultz switches to the outside. Daniel Perlman looks like he is going with them. He'll be kicking himself for that mistake as well. That handed the win kind of on a plate to Frederick Hovgaard. Of course, he needed to drive it and win it. But we are looking at the front two at the moment. Adam Isay from Stefan Schultz. Stefan tried the outside last time. It didn't work. He had a bit of a look down the inside. That didn't work either. Stefan looking quite pacey, though. Stefan was top seed for qualifying. Uh, Adam gave himself a bit of an advantage by choosing to sit out the first round of qualifying. Uh, what we're seeing now, though, uh, after Stefan collected Adam last time round, uh, Stefan stopped immediately. So now it's Stefan who has potentially a tyre advantage of the best part of a run. Stefan having a look, he's got some extra speed at the end of the main straight and has a look to the inside of Adam Ice. He's being super, super careful. Daniel Perlman just hanging around at the back of him, thinking, come on, guys, come on. Same again as last time, please. Just a bit of a tap together. Stefan again gets himself level, goes high up the banking. Adam defending. Daniel Perlman having the best view in the house of this battle between Adam Ice with the teal blue coloured car, Stefan Schultz, the white and blue coloured car. Stefan gets a run on again. He can get level down the main straight, but Adam just stays low around the banking, forces Stefan around the outside. It's not going to work. Needs to get the move done and cut across before then. So Stefan gearing himself up for another look on the inside this time he's got level again he's drawn level and the two touch going around the back sweeper so Stefan hits Adam again in the middle of the sweeper let's see if there's any kind of call there Adam has dropped down into third position so we've now got Stefan Schultz leading this one from Daniel Perlman with Adam I say in third position after contact yet again between the two car and the one car, I'm sure Adam Isay not going to be particularly uh, enamoured with Stefan Schultz after that one. But of course, if Stefan tries to give that position back, it's going to promote Daniel Perlman into the lead. What do we got? Two minutes left. This battle that we are watching on screen. Now Adam Ice makes his way back up into second position. So cuts under Daniel Perlman. Adam Ice now charging. Bit of red mist potentially. Adam Ice up into second place. A minute and a half left. Stefan Schultz leading this one from what is bound to be a frustrated Adam Ice. Just running with Adam as he tries to close in on Stefan Schultz. Just having a look at lap times last time round. It's a 20.2 for Stefan and 19.9 for Adam. Just under a minute to go, though. I don't think, honestly, Adam is going to get close enough to the back of Stefan Schultz to be able to put any kind of a pass on him. What have we got? 35 seconds left. What are their lap times? They're going to have this lap and one more, I believe. They are just going to miss the extra lap. So, yes, it will be this lap and one more. 
not there at the moment. So I think Stefan Schultz has got enough in his pocket at the minute as they enter their final lap. We're running with Adam Ise in second position. Down the main straight, he is trying to chase Stefan Schultz, but cannot catch him. But do wonder if there's going to be any controversy after this one. Stefan Schultz takes this one from Adam Ise. They've got off the line. Adam Ise getting away from Stefan Schultz. Daniel Perlman having a look at Stefan Schultz already. Bit of door banging going on. Stefan has a body tuck, spins round. That is a body tuck for Stefan Schultz. Adam Ise will breathe a sigh of relief at that one. Down the main straight for Adam Ise. Lap number one almost complete. Stefan Schultz having fallen down the field. So Adam Ise with a second place. So he kind of needs a clean run, as clean a run as possible. He needs to run and hide uh, and look for a fastest time. Let's just have a look. Frederick Hovgaard did a 15 in 5.06. We had the best time of Stefan Schultz was a 15 in 5.01. So Stefan Schultz got the quickest time currently, although... He would need to finish second. So basically, we're looking for if Adam Ise can win this one, where Frederick Hovgaard finishes. Because Stefan Schultz is down in sixth position currently. Frederick Hovgaard is running in third position. So at the moment, this is enough for Adam Ise. This would give him a one and a two. Frederick Hovgaard needs one extra position for times to come into it. This would give uh, Hovgaard a one and a three currently. So Adam Ise doing what he needs to do. But uh, he can make it a bit more secure. His time currently 15.503. So he's going slower than Stefan Schultz did last time out. Stefan Schultz slightly out of the mix though. He would have to make some big progress forward to get himself up into Second position. Keeping an eye, Stefan is, he's down in seventh place currently. We're running with Adam Ise down the main straight. Adam, a couple of minutes away from winning what would be, I believe, his maiden European championship. Down the main straight once more. Adam and Stefan looking like they've been a little bit of a step ahead of everybody else over the course of this weekend. Just want to move our focus back to the two minty green coloured cars on the main straight. So this, the battle for second and third position currently. And in fact, we've had a change there. So Frederick Hovgaard now up into second place. So now Hovgaard and Ise would be tied both on three points. Hovgaard did a, what did we say he did on his time for the first run? It was a 15.506. Adam Ise currently heading for a 5.04 on this one. So Frederick Hovgaard now potentially, we're running with him, needs to keep an eye on the pace that Adam Ise is running at. Adam Ise, they're both going to end up on three points here, but uh, Adam Ise currently heading for a 5.04. Doesn't need to be a huge drop off in pace. 5.04.7 forecast for Adam Ise. So we're just looking at where this fastest time ends up. Hovgaard did a, what did he do? 506.221. 505.620 predicted now. What have we got? 40 seconds left. Let's just see as Adam Ise crosses the line what his predicted time is. 
506159, I think we might be about to see Frederick Hovgaard crowned champion. It's all going to come down to pretty much the lap time on the final lap. So Adam Isa is going to win this leg uh, and end up on three points. The same as, let's have a look what Adam Isa has done. He's on his final lap. His predicted time, 506.368. I think this is going to come down to times 506. 0.221. It's going to have to be a storming final lap from Adam Ise. We'll have a look at his finishing time. Frederick Hovgaard just needs to bring this home in second place, but I think he's doing enough. So Adam Ise wins the leg. He's got a one and a two. Frederick Hovgaard with a one and a two. What's the times? 506.377. I think that plays against 506.221. So I think by a tenth of a second in the first leg, Frederick Hovgaard has won the title. So with uh, Frederick Hovgaard, the front-wheel drive champion for 2024, well done. Yeah, thank you, thank you. It was uh, unbelievable. I can't believe it. It was really crazy. I quality fall and end with the win. It was really crazy. I amazing. Yeah, I mean, in that like, did you know in that last leg? Because when you you made that move on Daniel Perlman, which then tied you on points with uh, Adam Isay. Uh, and then it was going to come down to the fastest time. Did you kind of know that your time was, was good enough at that point? No, I don't know if it was good enough. And I also, the problem was Stefan went this A2 and he was coming really fast back. So if we come high enough, he will also couldn't have the chance to cat, uh, catch me. So it was really close and I didn't know how fast my was between Adam. Yeah, well, I mean, Adam only dropped off with, it was about 30 seconds to go. So, like, with 30 seconds to go, Adam was still on to beat your time. And then I think he just had uh, had a little bobble and it just dropped him dropped him off of your time. So, of course, you, you didn't know anything about that then until the end of the run and you saw the results come yeah. through. Yeah, it was really close. I couldn't believe it. And yeah. also now, I, I don't know what to say. It was crazy. No. Well, absolutely epic result and driven fantastically all weekend. Kind of looked like it was going to be between uh, Adam and Stefan uh, at the start of the weekend. But, um, yeah, you've done driven superbly to, to take that. And like you said, from fourth on the grid. Yeah. Thank so, you. Well done. Yeah. Thank you. So there we go. Frederick Hofgaard, European champion for front wheel drive.